Hey everyone, and welcome back to Risk of Rain. Today, uh, let's see, what, what kinds of options do we have? Uh, let's see, not distortion, not spite, really. Uh, I mean, Enigma's always fun, but... Huh. I mean, Enigma makes my life pretty, pretty easy to deal with. Oh, let's take Enigma and Spirit, and that won't even be very weird. Play Chef. So, Enigma means I spawn with uh, this use item you see. And that makes it so that uh, it's a random thing. Whenever I would get a use item drop, I get a small Enigma, which makes the, uh, the Enigma, which is what that is, uh, charge faster. Oh, that was weird. So, Spirit <laughs> makes you move faster the lower health you are at, but that's everything. So that includes those jerks, which is obviously going to be a fun time. So, you know, I figure, sure, let's go with these. So with Enigma using a random use item each time you use it, it gives you a problem where you could be dealing with something like uh, Lost All, like not infrequently. Don't do this. You know you're making a mistake. Alright, cool. So we got the Bitterroot from the first time using one of those, which is an 8% health up. And then we got... Uh... Oh god, I went flying off there. Then we got the Crowbar, which is more damage to healthy monsters. Alright. So enemies above a certain health threshold take more damage from you. Per attack. All right, got this active. I'm just like flying down here. All right, let's use this. Nice, that's like the perfect thing. All right, that's 14% damage reduction. So the use item that I got uh, created a shadow version of me, which is fantastic. Uh, oh, I'm gonna get you. Oh, I got a small enigma for it, fine. Nice. So that's a reducing my reduction in my cooldown. The more you get, like the merrier, it goes down to like a two second cooldown, and it's totally freaking ridiculous. If you were wondering. All right, that's very worthwhile. Ah, don't do that. Don't run away that fast. You know you're not gonna win. Another small enigma, all right, man. If you really want to do that. All right. Use it again, I guess, now. Now oh, we got the uh, foreign fruit. Makes me, it heals me for half my health. Alright. What? That's not the direction that you should have flown even a little bit, dude. Alright, things are going pretty fantastically so far. But that's because I've chosen to, like, I don't know, whatevers, pretty much. They don't change the game as much, but they change it in interesting ways. Take another crowbar that stacks directly in both of its effects. Alright, I know there's a 50 up here, so I want that. Cool, jump higher and fall slower, so reduced uh, gravity. What that means. I have a feeling that Spirit's going to mean a lot more uh, in a little while than it does right now. But it really does make things crazy. Crazy is a good word for it. All right, I just want to see if there's anything immediately here. All right, I'll play it. Small enigma. That's all I got. I've got three of those already. I don't know how many it takes to get your uh, cooldown to basically not exist, but we're on the road to Viridian City, as they say. 
taking the slow way. We're going to be out of here a little bit behind schedule because of my slow slow decisions. All right, if I stand still for two seconds, I start healing at a rapid rate, which uh, often enough won't be desirable. Weird as that is, you know, sometimes you don't want to heal right now. Sadly, this isn't the last enemy, so... Oh well. And there you are. So let's go right about it on time, but a little bit behind, of course. Like I said. Not going badly. Darn. No biggie. Life's good. I don't know why I'm going this way. It's not going to be this way. I promise. Alright, Ancient Wisp. Ah. Fight me. I don't know what I got out of that, but that's okay. So of course, if you're unaware, one of my skills powers up my other skills, the next skill I use. So, um... Use that to fire out, like, nine of those at once. Which is nice. Or sometimes I'll use it once I've used Oil Slick to get a stronger, um... Was that flambe or something? Or a bunch of extra damage. And that helps me with uh, control over where an enemy is going in this case. Um, very nice. I just don't have the DPS right now. And that is unfortunate, might I add. So the sad thing is it's not really worth it to um, explore this whole level for loot, but I'm going to anyway because I have a problem. All right, that was pretty based. I don't know what I got there, but I'm about to die, so I need to be on my way. Later, dudes. I am flying right now. Uh, oh god, take me out of here. I'm just gonna try and heal. I don't think anything can spawn up here, so the only thing that can get me is like a jellyfish. But that actually, like, that saved my life having Spirit on. Obviously. Beautiful. And this is when I get worried. Alright, so I'll take my 10% dodge chance. That'll be useful. Apparently now that only stacks to 4, by the way. Uh, the first three give 10, and the fourth one gives uh, 5, 35% max. The same max, but different stacking, apparently. Alright, let's grab this. Head stompers. If I fall while moving fast enough, then... Um, I deal damage to everything that uh, is nearby my landing spot. Whoops, how about no? I'm gonna go back up there because that mysterious vial is really appealing. Interesting that the uh, knife does more damage on the backswing. I wonder why that is. I'll allow it, but I don't know why. Alright, so better health regeneration. That means I'll have a little bit less of a speed bonus all the time, but it means I'll be safer. Which is probably more important. Don't fall off. You fell off. Oh, dang. I barely mistimed that. Cool. These nerds. Dead, not dead, but shortly thereafter died. 
Something's down here? Okay. Oh wow, that was cool. Oh, don't do that. Dumb. Don't, don't do this to me. Stop it. Gosh. See, oh god, that was totally a lost all activation, wasn't it? Okay, so now we've got our origin activating. This is terrifying. Small enigma. That's useful. Another bustling fungus. Just faster healing. Oh boy. Alright, this is good life. Goodness gracious. See, the kind of nice thing about this though that I'm noticing is that um, as I keep taking damage while fighting them and they're taking damage, it all kind of adds up in my favor. Oh, maybe not in my favor. Oh, this is fantastic. This is beautiful. Eight seconds of invincibility I got there. Okay, I need to kill this healing jerk. So that it stops healing stuff like the boss. Oh, dear. I'll be over here. Don't mind me. Whoa, dude! No, you're keeping up with me just fine, and I don't like that. I'll be over here. So I was making good time, and then I started dying again. Okay. We in there. We're not fast anymore. We're weird. Weirdly slow now. That's fine. Better weirdly slow and alive. Alright. Jeez, that knockback though. Alright though, you're about to die. That gets me the interstellar desk plant. Which is like a glorified monster tooth, sort of. Except it's like... It's more usable in crowds, of course, but it's not that good. So what it does is it makes it so that whenever I kill an enemy... Okay. Uh, whenever I kill an enemy, it drops a plant. And that plant sprouts fruit. And if I walk over the plant while it has fruit... I get, uh, I believe it starts at 8 health and healing, and it just regrows as long as I can keep it on screen for most of the time. Don't know what that did for me. Oh, it's that. I don't need that. So, mostly it's not that useful, but if I'm crowd diving a lot, it can be useful, especially if I get a bunch of kills, which this character can sometimes do really quickly due to, um... Oh, nice, a legendary spark. That's beautiful. Uh, due to that skill combo that I've got going right there. Alright. Cool. The legendary spark is a chance when I hit an enemy with an attack that it, um... Also gets, uh, those purple things coming out of the ground to attack. Oh, geez, though, that was that was kind of bad. And we got Ancient Valley. Oh, no. See if we got the full bridge or not. That's pretty scary. So we've got four small enigmas now. That's not very many. Full bridge, please. Good. Lighted clay. No. Do not like this. I don't want to be fighting this nerd. All 
All right, teleporter. Just take me away from this blighted clay man, and that's all I really could ask for. So I could go to Boar Beach and then reroll this level, see where I end up. But there's usually so much loot here that I I gotta go for it, man. I gotta go for it. Alright, so last time I got this level, it was here. But it is not this time. <sighs> not here either. Is it in the corner here? No. Well. Gosh, if I know where I'm going. It has to be down here. Okay, good. It had to be here, pretty much, because it almost never is on the side that you spawn. Oh, this is terrifying. That's what I got. Oh, why does the blight have to be here? We, I'm just sliding on away. I don't know what boss I got. Dude, these dudes are so good at chasing me. Nope. I'll be seeing myself out. Alright, so there's one way I could do this that could take up to forever. I'll probably pass on doing it that way. Could stand in the cheese spot right there. Get everything to spawn up here. That didn't open it. That's like all I needed. Uh, get everything spawning in the cheese or er, in the spot, so that uh, I can hope to use my use item to get uh, the jar of souls, which is just you know a bad idea in general. <laughs> Later, dudes. I know you may not have wanted to fly, but I taught you to. Alright. Colossus. Hey, buddy. Oh. Oh. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Nobody seems to have missiles, that's good. Uh, in, in before missiles, of course. Right, I can kill this nerd. Oh, never mind, that nerd's there. Alright, now I can do it. I don't think I'm gonna make it out of this level. 44 enemies? I mean, we'll see, man. Oh boy, now I guess I have to go for this, don't I? Alright, since I got two of me... Better make some waves. Colossal Neural, Health Up, Health Regeneration Up, and... Um, armor Up. All around fantastic item. Some of these dudes just go flying in really weird ways. That dude has way too much health, and it makes me sad. Oh well. What we gotta deal with for now. Hey, that activated once in a while. I like being out of here by 22 minutes. I'm not sure I can pull that off this time, necessarily. Thank you for turning around somehow. I don't know how, but thanks for doing it. Oh, thanks for teleporting. Alright, that's good. Keep doing that. 
God, I gotta get so cheesy. I'm bad with this character. A lot of people seem to love it, but I'm just terrible with it, so... Gotta forgive me for being bad. Oh well. Buy all the loot. I'm gonna pause buffer this. Let's me see what I'm getting and choose it properly. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with the monster tooth. Ten healing on, uh, for every kill. Bundle of fireworks is good. Every time I uh, spend money on something or open something, uh, I send out some fireworks to do some good damage. I love that I can just jump over its attacks in general. I have no problems. Ah, reduce the cooldown of use items. That's what I'm talking about. Apparently. I know that was what I was talking about. Increase my crit chance. Uh, that's good. Alright, I'm gonna not buy the drone, I suppose. More fireworks. That's all that does. Adds fireworks. That's good. Keep going, find the loot, take over the world, hope for the best. Alright, that increases my damage based on how much money I have, and the amount of money it takes to increase my damage is based on the time. What are you? Chance for any enemy killed to explode, that's very useful, adds five healing to uh, each kill I get. Do it again. There it is. I gain one max health per kill. So that's useful. I'll get 28 health up by the end of this level. Ugh. <sighs> I also have to not die to these jerks. Of course, if I had known what I'd get there, I would have used it a little more effectively. Where's my blighted buddy? Okay, nothing over here. Had to check. Nice explosion. That was useful. What are you? Track fire on the ground, damages enemies that walk on it. Alright, so I'd normally like to be out of here by now. Goat hoof, speed up. Oh, that's actually really good, even if I do get speed up based on my lack of health. That's totally fine, that's still really useful. Pay attention to my health, but don't worry. It'll all be fine. There's my blighted buddy. He hurts if he attacks me. Can you turn around? Thanks. Alright, I can kill them without a problem. They can't get to me. No worries in life. Might take a little while, but that's fine. Lighted Clayman will be the hardest part. I don't have a good way to do it. Alright, later, buddy. Alright, that's useful. Good. 
Sadly, Blights were just nerfed into Oblivion as far as their usefulness to you. Okay, that's what I want. March Shopper, more money from enemies killed. And we magically made it through three minutes late, but still. And now we're dead. I love when that happens. We could get really lucky and not get a mag the cremator, but chances are I'm just going to die. Which is nice. Not at all, by the way. All right. Let's keep tracking our fire. Let's check down here. I'm allowing this to damage me instead of carrying, just for the speed bonus. I can heal this pretty easily for now. Not for long, though, so... I want to take advantage of it while I can. That's this thing. I see the thing. Yep, I'm dead. Well, let's try and fight this nerd. Alright, so now I'm gaining money on attack. Enemies drop money as I hit them. Unfortunately, I am simply dead, and there is nothing to be done about that. Which is just really dumb. I hate the cremator. Just stupid. What are we going to get this time? The same item. Give me all the healing. That was, uh... That was useful. I think this character really, 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 really needs attack speed up. Which I'm just not getting at the moment. Gotta use my use item continuously. That's the thing I gotta do. How did there get to be a ghost of that thing there? There wasn't one of those there. Alright, these desk plants are actually really doing work here. Oh dear. Take me out of here. I'm so dead. Nope. How did I survive the whole event? That doesn't make sense. There's got to be a container up here, right? Nope. Ah! <laughs> Sadly, there's nowhere for me to just stand still for a cremator to not be able to hit me. Which is, uh, pretty unfortunate. Oh my god, that's perfect. Landing successful attacks on enemies. This won't work for every hit, just for the initial hit of every attack. Uh, but that heals me for two health. Which is much better than nothing. Alright, that's not what I asked for. Failing shrines increases my chance of getting crits. Which is something, I guess, right? Can't afford that. All right. Well, we live in for now. For some reason. Oh, why'd you have to fall like that? You know how inconvenient that is, buddy? All right, I'm gonna fight this buddy first. See, look at that. Ow. That was rather painful.
beautiful explosion. Alright, let's just activate that. Not what I needed at all. Alright, this is actually perfect, because at least that means I can safely stay away from these enemies for now. Oh, sorry, most of them fell elsewhere, I guess. Oh, they're up? What? They get there. And there's this nerd. Oh boy. Oh, I shot that the wrong way completely. This is going to be really, really difficult. If the freaking cremator weren't attacking me, I could just kill this dude really simply. But no. No, there's a cremator to deal with. Alright, well, let's go. Get as much healing as we can, which is two ticks. Try again. Two ticks. And then we suddenly have okay health. Fight this nerd again. Filial imprinting. Little buddy follows me around. He drops uh, buffs occasionally. Healing buffs, attack speed buffs, or movement speed buffs. Dude, you're just going flying everywhere. Oh, that's what I want, right there. Come on, give me that. Alright, landing attacks heals me for now. That's over. By this laser drone. Thank you for all hitting a cremator for so much health. That's uh, a lot more valuable than you know. I've spent a lot of time here, evidently. Oh, I didn't kill this dude? Okay, well now it's just me and you, cremator. Ow. I would prefer it just be me. Alright, so the cremator's enraged now, which means it's going to attack a lot more frequently, which means I don't have time to heal, which means this is even dumber. And I hate it. I'm out. There was some items over here, weren't there? There was an item over here. War banner, when I level up, I drop, uh... Holy butts. Oh my god, it died from that. Thank goodness. Uh, when I level up, I drop a circle. Inside that circle, I have increased health regeneration, attack speed, and movement speed. Oh, thank goodness for bundle of fireworks, man. I shouldn't have lived. To be honest. But I did. Dude, I'm so slow. Oh yeah, that was good. Alright, I'll take a small enigma. I already have a really, really good cooldown on my use item, but I'll take better. No complaints here, man. Fine, I'll attack you from here. See how much it matters to me. Look at that crit chance. <sighs> I still need a lot more money. Oh no. Whoopsie. To also get the roulette shop, but that's uh, for a slightly later date. Chance for my attacks to uh, electrocute enemies, and which will arc between enemies as well. Very useful. All 
Alright. Don't know what use item I got. Would have loved if it had been uh, lost all on the freaking blight. Because that would really save my butt a lot. Stupid blight. Oh, dang, I didn't quite get the one I was after. Chance for elites to drop enemies would have been nice, but instead I got, um, if I take enough damage at once, I drop a poison trap. Will poison enemies for damage over time. You know, I'm out. Peace, fools. That's where I spawned in. The behemoth, heck yes. All of my attacks will explode now when they hit an enemy for 20% uh, extra damage. Which is just what I needed. Oh, really? Is that what you uh, really want to do? Because I really don't appreciate that. I'm dead. That was my fault completely. I was going to run away the next time around, and I was just not soon enough. That's going to do it for today, though. Dang. I hope you enjoyed the episode, though. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.